Do you know the power of the Holy Ghost in you will make you to fulfill your destiny to the last bit as God has made it? Some people will say it's your hard work. Is it true the power of the Holy Ghost in you will make you to fulfill your destiny to the last bit? Or is it hard working? Some people say destiny cannot be changed. But is it the Holy Ghost power in you that will make you to fulfill that destiny? Or is it the destiny cannot be changed? Keep watching and let's shed light into this truth. Hello everyone, my name is Avalake Janet Kuyelami. I want to hear your comments on this topic this week also. And again, if you like this channel and you want to encourage this channel to talk more on Christian motivational messages, please subscribe to this channel, like the message and share with your friends and family. The power of the Holy Ghost in you will definitely make you to fulfill your destiny to the last bit. When Jesus left the water after his baptism, we were told, according to the Bible, that the power of the Holy Ghost came mightily on Jesus Christ. After that, Jesus started walking towards achieving all his dream to fulfill his destiny, to fulfill what he has come to do in this world, powerfully to the last bit. Even when the Pharisee wanted to kill him at a long time, just because the power of the Holy Ghost is in his name and he had not finished his course, he has not finished his destiny, they could not kill him. Before I go deep more into this topic, let me share the keyword that summarizes today's topic. Today's keyword says, if God can tear the curtain of the temple from top to the bottom, when Jesus finished his work on the cross, it shows that God is not interested in old animal sacrifice anymore, but he paved way for a new method of worship. So dear friend, adopt new success ideas by allowing your third eyes to be open for God to guide you on the exact techniques you need for unique breakthrough. Hear this through my dear friends. God has created every one of us to be a supernatural being. You know why I say this? Because we are created in God's image. The way God wired us, the way God created human beings is beyond human understanding. The way God wired our brain is beyond human understanding. Let me tell you this truth today. What your brain can do, if you can sit down, to listen to God, you will be shocked the exploit, the mighty things you will do in the world. How does the power of the Holy Ghost work to make you to fulfill your destiny? Jesus Christ once read the scripture saying, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captive and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach acceptable year of the Lord. And the fame of him went out into every place of the country round about. From the scripture I've just read, we recognize that the anointing of the Holy Ghost empowered the redeemed to command exploit. This is shown in the story of Jesus. He was a carpenter's son for 30 years, but immediately he was baptized and the power of the Holy Ghost came upon him. He started to do exploit for the Lord. So let me go straight to the point. What are the ways you are stopping the power of the Holy Ghost to flow in you? Number one, you refuse to be open-minded to sit down at Jesus' feet for interpretation of his word. The Bible made me to understand that the word of God is new every morning. If you keep on sitting down with your old belief, stone age belief, 
like the Pharisee, there is no way the Holy Spirit will come to interpret the word of God in you. For example, while I was growing up, they told us that if you wear earrings, if you wear trousers, you will go to hellfire. And that has been in my mind for a long time. One particular day, I have to sit down and say, Lord, is it true when you wear earrings or you wear trousers, you will go to hell? Then God said, if you wear earrings and you don't do my way, where will you go? I said, hell. If you don't wear earrings and you don't do my way, where will you go? I said, hell. And he said, dress moderately and do my way. So that delivered me from Stone Age. Believe that if you do certain things, dress in certain way, you can make heaven. So change your whole belief. Number two, word of God is new every morning. Tell God to reveal the secret of his mind to you whenever you are reading his word. The word is new every morning. The interpretation he gave you yesterday might be different from the interpretation he will give you today. The word of God is new every morning. So stop saying the interpretation God gave you last week is still the same to what he gave you this week. That interpretation for particular verse you read last week is for that particular time. And if God wants to send you on an error for a new level, he can still bring up the same verse you read last week and give you another interpretation. Let his word be new every morning if you want the power to flow. Number three, stop behaving like this Pharisee if you want the power of the Holy Ghost to flow into you. The Pharisee definitely knew that Jesus came from God, but because of their old Moses belief, Moses law, they refused to allow the power of the Holy Ghost to come into them. God even proved to them when Jesus died on the cross, the temple curtain cut into two, which shows that the whole belief God is not interested in it anymore. The old sacrifice, the old way of worship, he said he doesn't want it anymore. He wants new worship, which is to worship God in spirit and in truth. But the Pharisee still refuse my dear friends and viewers you want to pour the Holy Ghost to flow in you stop behaving like the Pharisee and the Sadducees number four you can block the power of the Holy Ghost through some doctrine beliefs sometimes ago when we were young we were told that we should not watch TV because if you watch TV you will join the world and follow the world but today God made the TV to be popular because he wants to use that medium to reach the whole wide world because until he reached the whole wide world, Jesus will not come. So he made the TV to be popular so he can reach many people. So God is trying to tell us that old doctrine of not watching TV needs to be erased from your mind because if you don't erase that, the power of the Holy Ghost is trying to come in to use you through the TV, but you are refusing it. Definitely, fulfill its destiny to the last bit can be delayed through that action. The best thing to do is just to listen to God most of the time because His word and His plan are new every morning. And the last point is pride will never allow the power of the Holy Ghost to grow in you. If we look at Jesus' lifetime, with all the miracles he did, we have never seen where Jesus showed off to others. When he healed some people in the Bible, we were told that Jesus told them, don't tell anybody, just go and worship God. The more he said that, the more the power of the Holy Ghost increased in him. If God is using you in one way or the other, through advising people, through supporting people, through helping people, through supporting, God can use you in many ways. Let humility overshadow your life. In conclusion, be open-minded to listening to the word of God in a new dimension every day. But listen to this. Pray for the sunny spirit 
so that you'll be able to know the interpretation that is coming from God and the interpretation that is coming from the flesh. So it is only the power of the Holy Ghost in you that will make you to fulfill your destiny to the last bit as Jesus did. Hope this encouraged you to run after your dream. Never give up on your dream. Keep on moving forward. God bless.